What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Another racket review. We're going to test the Technifiber T-Fight ISO 305 and I'll put the specs on the screen. And I've tried this before in my other review for the first time and I really liked it. And it was up against the Ultra 100 and an old school uh, pure drive. So it is 305 grams unstrung. So it was the heavyweight of that racket review. But today I'm gonna test it out against this one which is the Pure Drive Tour. And of course we got the Pete Sampras Shark Absorber, the best Shark Absorber ever made. So strings, we got the Lynx Tour in the Technifiber, a head string, a fairly firm poly, a hexagon shape. In the Pure Drive Tour, we got the Allo Power Soft, strung at 46 pounds. And my hitting partner today is this beast right here. I'm in trouble already. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So this hitting session with Coach is actually his last practice before he took off to Las Vegas for the Men's Open Nationals. And him and his teammates actually won the whole thing. Well done, Coach. And uh, you know me, I'm gonna take some credit for uh, our hitting sessions before your tournament. Back to the rackets. So the ISO 305, it feels nice with that, that little bit of head heaviness on the ground strokes. And the denser stringing pattern will benefit you if you like to take bigger cracks at the ball without losing too much control. First time hitting here with the Pure Drive Tour and I'm actually having to hold back a little bit on the first couple of shots. I feel it right, right away taking off. I mean, just easy power with this thing. And um, it does have a slightly open stringing pattern. So a lot of action, a lot of spin. And if you are slightly off in your timing, I mean, that ball will fly on you. So um, really just trying to get a feel for it. But I mean, the comfort and, and the power on this frame is just so nice. So uh, me with my uh, shorter compact swings, I gotta give the edge to the Pure Drive Tour for the ground strokes. In regards to volleys and net game, both rackets felt good. The Pure Drive is solid, but you cannot really go for too much in the range department. I would probably have to uh, pick the ISO when it comes to volleys simply because easier to control heavy pace coming at you with the, the smaller head and the thinner frame. Let's go over hitting under pressure with uh, less time here as my opponent is volleying. The ISO feels like it can withstand everything and for 305 grams unstrung it is super solid and with the 98 square inch head slightly smaller than the pure drive and denser stringing pattern it'll just give you that little bit more control. Now, I do have shorter range on both my forehand and backhand, and I punch a lot on my two-hander. So the pure drive actually helps me in that area where I can generate more pace and turn defense into offense a, a little bit more efficiently. So the pure drive wins this round. Fortunately, we didn't get to hit serves that day. We ran out of time with the uh, lessons arriving. We had a stack day ahead of us, uh, but I have uh, served with both frames and with the extra power, I prefer the Pure Drive Tour in that category. Now let's sum it all up. Which racket do I prefer? So if I had to play a match and I could only pick between these two rackets, I would go with the Pure Drive Tour. By me being a counter puncher, it just works a little better on the stretch, especially getting that little extra help with my compact swings is very nice. Now, if you take bigger cuts at the ball and you're a more aggressive player, you would probably prefer the ISO 305 with that denser stringing pattern, slightly thinner frame, a little bit smaller head size. Let's say I had to play a match with the ISO, I would put some uh, grams in the handle just to even out the uh, balance a little bit more. So in my search for the uh, perfect racket, my top three picks right now are the uh, Pure Drive Tour here from this video, the Head Extreme Tour uh, with some added weight to the head and handle. And in third place, the T-Fight ISO 305. But I'm not done. Next, I uh, definitely want to try the Yonex E-Zone and V-Core Pro lineup. 
and compare them and see if my top three picks will change. Let me know in the comments of what your favorite racket is. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you next time.